In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an authentication system on the client side with Next.js 14 and Superbase. Let's come back on the home page. Let's remove all of this. And let's say that when we arrive on this page, we will be logged in on the client side. So let's say that we're going to type logged in. And here on the top, I'm going to put use client. So when I update my application, the home page, the main page will be logged in. Now let's create a new page called login. And on this new page, I'm going to have a page.tsx and I'm going to have a login page. So I'm going to type here a login. Okay. And when I go on slash login, I got the login page up here. All right. What we would like to do is every time we arrive on the main page, if we are not logged in, we would be redirected. So to do that, we would use what we call a middleware. So we can code this middleware, which will be at the base of my source folder. So here I'm going to create a new file called middleware.ts and not tsx. Okay, middleware.ts. There we go. So here we are going to prevent anyone to enter inside the app if he's not logged in and we're going to use for that the create middleware client coming from the hot helpers next.js that we installed before. So if I type create middleware client, we see here that I can import my create middleware client function coming directly from the package that we installed before. So I'm going to type export async and here it would be a function and here it's just basic Next.js 14 code. Uh, we're going to catch the request and we're going to import the next request. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a full process to catch every route. And in order to do so, we would need to use here the Superbase client, uh, create middleware client. Why? Because here the middleware cannot initiate yet. Uh, our super base client that we got in here. So we got to initiate again the uh, create middleware client. The create middleware client will need the request and it will need a response also. So the response, it will be basic. It will be here the next response simply dot next. Okay, so the next page. So it's going to use the next page in here. Okay, now we did that it's completely locked. And basically we would like to match roots also. So here I need to create my config so I can go on the bottom here. And the object config is taking actually a matcher and it's going to be an array. And here we can have a list of pages where we would like to match this middleware, where we would like to pass the middleware before. So on the official documentation of uh, Next.js, we've got this list here. We match everything except API, the static image, and the favicon. Okay, so basically here, we take everything. All right, so we are going to continue. So we got those two elements, and when we've got Superbase, we can then check if we are logged in or not. Of course, right now we are not logged in. We don't get any system. We didn't set up everything yet, but we're gonna write the code to see how it works at first. So we are going to await our Superbase instance that is up here, and we are going to call Hoth and get session. So Hoth get session here locally is going to get the session for us. And in return, we're gonna have an object data and inside data, we're gonna have a session. So we will be able to say if there is a session or not before we enter into the app and before we trigger the roots. So if there is no session, it's extremely simple. We are going to redirect and here we're going to type next response dot rewrite. We are going to rewrite the URL. We are going to use new URL and we're going to redirect to login. And to provide this operation, we need the actual rec URL, okay? So we don't get any session. We are going to be redirected to login. And if I try to go to home again, 
I'm locked on the login page we created. We forgot one thing. We want to say that if there is a session, we are going to return the response, of course. So let's look again at this middleware. We are going to trigger this middleware, which is at the root of the source folder. Every time, every time we are going to enter any root, except on the API, the next static image, favicon, etc., etc. We are going to initiate the create middleware client coming from Superbase auth helper Next.js. Okay, then what we do, we check if there is a session and what we can do here is just console log our session, right? So we can be able to look at it. Then if there is no session, we rewrite the URL and we redirect to login. Okay, so now at this step, I need to come back to my Superbase client. And here I want to talk about the common mistake that a lot of people are doing and they don't know how to get rid of this error they got. On my middleware, I'm using the Superbase Hoth Helper Next.js uh, package. And later, I will try to create my client with the SDK of Superbase and not the package. And this is a common mistake. When you work with the session system, you need to use also the create uh, component, client component from the same package. So if I'm using Superbase Auth Helpers Next.js, I need also to use here the Superbase uh, package, the, the same package, sorry. So if on my middleware, I'm using this package here, the Superbase Auth Helper Next.js, on the client side, I need to use exactly the same. So I'm going to rewrite this and I'm just going to remove that. And I'm going also to remove the client and I'm going to start over. And I'm going to create a new Superbase client using a new function coming from the Hoth Helpers Next.js. This function is going to be called create client component client. It's a bit complicated as a name, but it says that you need to use that for the client. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to create my Superbase client like this. And here, I don't need to put my Superbase URL, my Superbase key, because remember on my own file, I respected the name of every key. So it will be able to retrieve inside my own file the correct keys. For those who didn't saw the last course, you need to have next public Superbase URL, next Superbase Anon key, and next public Superbase service role key. All right, the last step is now to implement a login system. To do so, we come back to our Superbase instance. And what we've got here is on authentication on the provider, we've got a login system with email. On the email template, I can see that I got templates for confirm the sign up, the magic link, the change email, invite a user. Basically, what we're going to do, we are going to use the confirm sign up, actually. I'm going to go on the authentication documentation and I'm going to use, actually, the user management, which is here. And I'm going to use the sign up or sign in with password that I got in here. Okay, back in my app, I'm going to create my function login, which will be asynchronous and which will be a try catch function. Here I can come back and just copy paste the user login code that I got down here. So here I'm going to do exactly this. I'm going to copy paste this code, which is here. I would need to create my email and I would need to get, catch also my email and password, but I would need to call my Superbase coming from my Superbase library. If there's an error, I'm going to console log the error and we should be good. And if there is data, I want to console log the data. Okay, so that's the first step. So down here, I need to catch the password and the email. On my template, I'm going to use snippet to go faster. I'm going to use my form text here, form text to get two inputs, one for the email, the second for the password. So I can update my email here 
and my password down there and I can put password here. Let's say that here it's going to be password also. I got a handle change function that will help me to change here actually my data, but data doesn't exist. So I'm gonna go on the top and I'm going to create my data set data here, which will be of user state. And here we're gonna have what? We're gonna have an email, which will be a string and a password that would be a string also. And inside I would have exactly the same, but here it's going to be empty on both sides. So I got my two elements. I just need to have a button to send this. And here on my function, I don't get any loading, but that's all right. So I'm going to assume that you will work on the login system by yourself later. So I will type, I will click on login. And when I will click, of course, I will send here login directly. I'm gonna add some style to it because I got Tailwind CSS. Let's say that I'm going to have a max width of 400 pixels. And there we go. So I got my email, I got my password, and then I can fulfill all of this and try to log in and to look at the response that we will get. Okay, I got my password, I got my email up here. If I click on login, I got an error because I can't sign in if I didn't sign up before. So what I need to do at first is to use sign up instead of sign in, okay? So what I can do with Superbase is that when a user is going to try to authenticate, we can go to the list and we will see his name appearing in here. And let's go, let's try. So I click on sign up here. We can see that we've got a user, but we don't get any session because we are supposed to receive an email to confirm our signing up. However, if I go to on auth, we can see that I got my test at Gmail and I got my waiting for verification that is here. Now let's use a real email, somebody that confirmed. And instead of sign up, I need to sign in with password. And down here, I'm going to put login. What I'm going to receive here is supposed to get the data user. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to click on login and look at this, suddenly we've got session plus the user that we got down here. However, we haven't been redirected. So what we need to do is here to actually open our uh, response and we need to call use router coming from root navigation. So here I got router and I would like to refresh. So when I log in, I would like to refresh my page. And suddenly when I come back, I'm already redirected to the main page where I'm logged in. And if I try to update, look at this, I try to update, the middleware automatically redirect me. And when I open my console, we can see here that the middleware catch the access token, the token type, the refresh token, everything concerning my actual session. The main point of this video was to create an authentication system on the client side with Superbase. We saw that we need to use only one package, which is the auth helper Next.js, both on the middleware and on the client side. 